Hello and welcome to SL Chennai Speaks Out Season 2. I'm Sanjay Pinto. Now, if you have fear, prepare to feel it more intensely now than ever before. If you're the type who believes in the line, lies, damn lies and statistics, then it's time to wake up to reality, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get to hear those warning bells. It's time to read the statistics that stare you in the face. And that's because every eighth Indian is diabetic. The country has 51 million diabetics. Now, are we the diabetes capital of the world? We were until quite recently, but now China has overtaken us, and that's one top spot we are quite happy to concede to the Chinese. So is diabetes today complicated by ignorance or negligence? There are two crore obesity-related deaths in India. Every third person in Chennai is overweight. People hesitate to take the stairs, they always want to take the elevator. There's more junk food and colas that are sold than health food or perhaps even diabetic medication for that matter. People want to have junk food with all the oil of Arabia. The common misconception in today's world is that in our society is that a chubby child is a healthy child. Several misconceptions that we hope to in the next one hour shatter to smithereens on this show. So we're asking you, the people of Chennai, is diabetes complicated by ignorance or negligence? On our panel, we've got Dr. Kausalya Nadan, a well-known management, lifestyle management expert, and Dr. R. Prema, who's the chief medical officer of Vasan's Eye Care Hospitals in Alwarpet. Both Dr. Kausalya and Dr. Prema believe that it's negligence, that diabetes is compounded by negligence. On the other side of the motion, we've got the expert in the country, Dr. A. Ramachandran, who is the chairman and managing director of Dr. Ramachandran's Diabetes Hospitals, the chain of hospitals, and Pushpa Narayanan, a very senior journalist who's been on the health beat for close to a decade now. Pushpa is the assistant editor health of the Times of India. Slogan for this 2010 from International Diabetic Association is let's take control of diabetes now. So that statement is enough to tell everybody wake and don't be you know negligent about the complications has been because of the negligence. And now the slogan itself like wake up individually, don't neglect so far it's been doing which says the complication of diabetes is all due to negligence is not just in ignorance because we have been declared and diabetes is not a, a new disorder or a disease it's been there for ages decades is there and the complications are rising in 2007 international diabetic federation declared that around 40.9 million people to be diabetic in india now again it's crossed more than 50 million and out of the 50 million 4 million die of diabetes complications every year that's more than the hiv positive people so when you compare with the hiv and diabetes i think the death due to diabetes has crossed the hiv it just because of uh, you know complete negligence i don't think the ignorance is a factor because you people have channels you have doctors every street there is a center for managing diabetes and every doctor doctor looks after it and uh, obesity has not been under control. I think my stand here for the day is the complications are because of negligence and the death is a scary thing and it's time as you rightly said to wake up to this and move on. All right. Thank you very much Dr. Kausalya. <laughs> Dr. Ramachandran. Essentially type 2 diabetes in adults is actually a disease in which people do not know that they have the disease. Is a very insidious onset. It's a metabolic disease. You should know that type 2 diabetes actually affects people in good health. And in any part of the world, for every known diabetic, there is another who is not a known diabetic, so not directed at all. So people do not know they have diabetes. The second thing is that it is not aware that, that you may get into complications. Uh, she just now said that doctors know how to treat diabetes, but unfortunately the, there are not enough trained doctors to take care of diabetes today. The medical curriculum make doctors very good in taking care of people who have acute illnesses. Diabetes on the other hand is a chronic lifetime disorder which needs what is called chronic therapy. And doctors are not probably trained in that. Also people, doctors also think that that is not their job to take care of somebody for their whole lifetime. 
So therefore, even if you tell somebody who you have diabetes and you have to keep it under good control, that is not it's, that is not enough to keep him under good control because we do not know how to keep him under good control. We don't have good strategy to keep them under good control. We also do not have good strategy actually to find out who are the people who have diabetes today because as you rightly said, diabetes affects people who are pretty healthy and it's a healthy person's disorder. So therefore, I think uh, we have to produce more and more awareness among both the individuals, societal levels and the public and also among the doctors who have to treat. And I think it also not only stops at the societal level, all the doctors level, it also goes to the stakeholders level where you have change in healthcare policies to look at non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, an important issue in public health. One important thing I want to tell you here is that one of the, some of the risk factors for diabetes, for example, obesity is an important risk factor for diabetes. But in a poor country like India, obesity is considered as a sign of health and prosperity. So therefore, although, although people know that obesity is bad, many people think that it's good for you to have obesity because a chubby child, as you rightly said, is thought to be a healthy child. But unfortunately, a chubby child may become diabetic in the adult life. So I think it is time that we produce more awareness at all levels, individual levels, medical fraternity level, and at the stakeholders levels at, as a policy to change our whole pattern of healthcare policy. All right, thank you very much, Dr. <laughs> One of the complications of diabetes is uh, diabetic retinopathy and that's why we have the eye specialist here, Dr. Prema, over to you, ma'am. Diabetes is one disease which practically affects your head to toe, all parts of the body and especially the eyes and the kidneys. So when it comes to eyes, when we, we see uh, we as ophthalmologists see people coming to us with eye ailments and we find that starting from the external surface of the eye to the internal most innermost part of the eye, every part of the eye is affected. That is, uh, when I say external part of the eye is the white of the eye, we call it as the conjunctiva. Starting from there to the irides, which gives us the color to our eyes and also the lens, which becomes cataractus and also the retina. All these parts of the eye are affected because of the diabetes. And whenever I say that uh, patients are not ignorant but negligent is because when usually when we tell them that they have to come for an annual eye examination, we find that unless they have a problem, they don't show up to the doctor. They feel they need to have blurred vision in order to come to the doctor. And especially when they are detected as diabetics, we tell them that annual eye checkup is mandatory is one thing and also when they have a prolif uh, when they have a background diabetic retinopathy then in which case they have to come and have the lasers at that point and usually what they do is they don't come at that point and they come in when it is pretty late when they go into the proliferative stage at that time there is nothing much we can really do for them so, and also uh, American Association, Medical Association study has said very clearly that people who have been seen by ophthalmologists every year and treated are less than 5% likely to go in for total blindness. But people who do not go to the ophthalmologist have likelihood of becoming blind 50% of the time. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. <laughs> Last word is always to the journalist, uh, Pushpa. See, I think one in eight, as doctor said, is at risk for diabetes or has diabetes. Now, how much among these people who are diabetic know that they have diabetes? The first time that they realize that they have diabetes is when, in, when they are in a hospital with some complication, probably in an ICU with a heart attack or with a renal failure or any other complication. The basic problem is, I think, because we teach ignorance in schools. No school today has uh, a curriculum where they can teach, uh, you know, obesity, uh, the ways to avoid obesity or anything. Um, right from childhood, uh, children start, I mean, today if you open a tiffin box, uh, there's probably um, instant noodles, there are biscuits, there's a lot more of, there's, there's no reason why it can't be replaced with healthy food. Uh, I'm sure diabetologists, nutritionists are talking about it, but I don't think it reaches the, uh, the mother or the school teacher. The second thing that, uh, forget children, even among adults, somebody goes and picks up uh, uh, um, a junk food, uh, 
sub, somebody picks up a chips, packet of chips from a supermarket. There's no way that he or she knows. I mean, there are nutritional facts written on it today. But even if you see the nutritional facts, it's hidden somewhere. They will have to open the, uh, you know, wrapper to the other side to see where it is. So I think uh, it's completely, as Dr. Ramachandran said, it's completely lack of awareness. So um, I'm here to say that it's only a lack of awareness that's leading to uh, increase in diabetes. All right. Thank you very much, Pushpa. She said, uh, we teach ignorance in schools, perhaps like what Mark Twain said, I never let my schooling interfere with my education. But stay tuned. If you don't agree with some of their points, then you definitely don't want to touch that remote. I'll be back uh, in a very short while from now for the next round called cross-examination.